All right, Cody Jackson is just eight years old, but he is doing something very patriotic. Two or three times a month, he goes to Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And what does he do? He thanks returning servicemen and women for protecting the country. Thank you for protecting us. Oh, you're very welcome. There was a joke going around that Cody would go up to the USO and ask to join. They said, no, you're too young. Wait, come back when you're 18. And the joke was, well, he doesn't need the USO. He's doing it all on his own. He's a one-boy USO. It is uh, really wonderful what he's doing. And he, his grandfather was in the military, and he has already been in the military offices, recruiting offices, asking when he can sign up. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you. I asked my mom, how come it's so hard to get on an airplane? Because the, she told me about line 11. He got so upset and wanted to thank these people for putting their life on the line for him. So he comes to the airport and now he meets the soldiers. He thanks them for protecting them, hands them a little piece of candy and salutes them and wishes them well. Nice. Uh, as Cody has met a lot of these soldiers, a lot of them have become touched by what he's doing at such an early age. And some of them have been taking pins and coins out of their pockets and, and giving it to them. And, you know, he, he doesn't want to take any of them, but a lot of them are so touched by what he's doing, they're giving up some of their awards and medals to him. You hang on to that. I think it means a great deal to the uh, servicemen and women when he goes up to them and thanks them. We, we see, you know, this you know, big, strong man or woman come through, and they look like this, you know, it's not somebody you want to approach, and then Cody goes up to them and starts to talk to them, and you see them just light up, and you know, even big, grown men wipe the tears away from their eyes. I've been talking to them for a few minutes, so it's very touching. I don't know the words to describe it, honestly. I mean, to, to see a little kid like this, to uh, you know, come in here and do what he's doing, to thinking us, when, uh, you know, you, you see a lot of people that don't. Uh, some, you know, somebody that small, it really tugs at your heart a whole lot, and it makes everything that we're doing working. Aw, so sweet, inspiring so many.